Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Brad over here at Chattanooga Fishing Fun. Here at Fishing Fun, we sell Ranger boats and Lance campers. We've got a beautiful bluebird sky here to do a video today. You can hear them chip chirping over there in the trees. But uh, today's videos, I, I, I've actually been looking forward to this one for quite some time. I received the only 805 in the whole southeast yesterday and i wanted to do this video yesterday but didn't have time thankfully i had two campers going out that i sold uh, so that kept me a little busy but uh today nobody's had their bloody marys yet so uh nobody's awakening in here to buy a camper we've got the 2024 lance 805 in this is lance's newest truck camper in the lineup it's their lightest truck camper in the lineup and it's really i mean you got that 650 but most people complain about it being too heavy this one right here is really their only truck camper that's actually geared towards these 150s now like mine over here this thing comes in weighing at 1647 pounds dry with all the uh, added equipment that it's got you can get these around like that 1400 pound mark but you're going to be sacrificing on some options the options that we have added to this one include the uh let's see there it is the air conditioner it's a coleman 11k btu unit backup camera with a monitor electric side awning entry step it's the uh, four step scissor style uh, electric jacks max roof vent solar panel 110 volt uh, tv and the zero shower so uh, the zero shower is what you see hanging there on the side so this unit is really the only one in the lineup that they have that's actually geared towards these uh, 150 series uh, five and a half foot beds. I think mine's like five foot seven inches or something like that. But uh, you know, five and a half, close enough. But uh, this camper is also made for like a 150, 250, and 350 single rear, uh, let's see, single rear wheel, five and a half to eight foot bed trucks. Look at that. You could get the eight footers back under there now the fat butts is a different story i'm not sure what we're looking at on the on the dualies you know 350 and 450 dualies you could definitely get swing out brackets to put on the front and get the uh fat butts underneath there but i don't know if there is enough room back in here i'll have to ask lance if they've tried this or if they designed it for that but um i doubt it so i'm going i'm going to go ahead and safely say 150 through 350 five and a half through eight foot single rear trucks. And uh, like I said, this one comes in weighing at 1,647 pounds with all the added equipment. Now, you're gonna be asking, Brad, what is the price on this thing? The manufacturer suggested retail pricing on this is $32,424. That is a great price point on this camper right here. Uh, for what it is, and it having a Lance name, for it to be around that $30,000 mark, we're back in the game. This right here should fit into many people's budgets, um, especially for a brand new camper. With a brand new camper, you get brand new warranty and you're the first owner, the only one that's uh, you know pooped in the toilet and the only one that's uh, slept in the bed. So let's get on with this tour. Give you a little overview here of what we're gonna be sneak peeking. Look at all the room in this camper. It's hard to believe that all this goes in the bed of your truck. I mean, like my truck, it's a five and a half foot bed 150 and I could I could put all this in the bed of my truck. Everything I need is right in here. All right, so we'll start out over here on the right in the dinette area. Uh, this one is fixed up with the bronzite interior. So just like all the other models, you know, 650 through 1172, you could do uh, bronzite, lapis, or Grayson. Bronzite's going to be kind of your brownish color. Let me get you a closer look. See this? Uh, this is kind of brownish. And then you got the gray accents, uh, the brown accent, brown and gray accents up here on the wall. Um, wall colors and everything stays the same. Countertops and you know everything else stays the same. But we got bronzite here in the dinette, and then you could do Grayson, which would be a gray on gray. It'll be a darker gray up here lighter gray just like this this doesn't change and then uh lapis which would be like your darker 
royal blue maybe like a midnight blue kind of something along those lines i guess you would say um and then of course everything down here stays the same as well so uh you could do blue gray or brown right here and then same thing up there the diamond stitching and all stays the same now i like how they went with the u-shaped dinette over here it allows you to seat more people if you have you know visitors with you this also makes into a bed if you want to make it into a bed and I will convert it down to a bed here in uh, just a moment, but we're going to go over everything else first. You have these little lips for this table to lay down on. See these little mounts here on the side? I call them lips. But uh, you got you some USB uh, 110 outlets and a, let's see, a 12 volt outlet. Now in this uh, dinette, you have quite a bit of storage. So you have this little cool, like a, uh, I call it artificial netting. I don't think that's actually the word for it, but it looks like a net. It's just like a, you know, more durable than a net, obviously. It's, it feels metal. But quite a bit of storage up there for, you know, a portable grill, your outdoor chairs, board games. Uh, shoot, what else could you do? You could put, uh, uh, say, your, your duffel bags and stuff up there. Quite a bit of room. And what I love about this camper is they kept these lightweight, usable windows these are not glass windows these are dual paint acrylic style windows and i'll get you a closer look at that on the outside but uh look how usable these are look how far they kick out the glass windows typically only came out about this far maybe two to three inches totally unusable lets well, a little bit of air through but these right here let a lot more airflow and natural light in i ain't talking beer i'm talking actual sun rays baby and then it's just got these little knobs here on the side that actually hold it out and then you loosen them to bring it in now you may you may be wondering how do you keep the bugs out when you're camping it's nearly impossible to keep all bugs out but this certainly helps we got our uh, day shades and then if you want nobody looking in on you night shades all integrated right here you don't have to bring anything over here you don't have anything to like pull down and pull down again to bring it back up it's just uh simple as this but uh, anyways oh also over here we have a lot more storage let me show you under the table here storage here this thing's got more storage in it than my 975 truck camper did so both storage on both sides now over here nothing lifts up or anything there's no storage underneath there to worry about uh, we also have like this huge cabinet over here you could remove these shelves and make you a little uh, closet if you wanted to hang some clothes up but um like i said i don't even know what you would put in this camper because i started out in a 975 and learned how to pack really light so I probably wouldn't even utilize all this storage, but you have it if you need it. A little wall controlled domatic furnace. And then we, like I said, we've got this Coleman Mach 11 right above my head. And what you notice inside this camper is all the headroom that we have. I'm six foot one and with these daggum Hoka shoes, I'm probably like seven foot two. No, I'm just kidding. They got big bottoms on them though. That's gotta add at least an inch. So with these uh, Hokas, I'm probably like six foot two. Um, I'm six foot one flat footed. So look at all this headroom I have. Coming out the door is the only place I'd have to duck. Well, of course, getting up into the bed. You can't sit up straight up in the bed and I'll show you that here in a minute too. But I mean, typically in a truck camper, you're not able to do that. You might be able to in this one. I actually haven't tried, we'll find out. That'll be uh, later on in the video, we'll find out here shortly. But yeah, all this headroom and even under the uh, AC unit, I got a ton of headroom. So let's go over the kitchen area. Let me move this paper. Look at all the countertop space we have here. You got plenty of prep area over here on the side for cutting veggies and meats or whatever you need to do. You got a little bit more prep area over here and then you could always use your tabletop as well. We got a single bowl sink and it's this is a massive sink for the size of camper. So really big sink. Another kick out for the uh, kitchen and another massive storage area here above the sink. And this is that, uh, I'll call it metal netting. How about that? 
I don't know. I like it though. It looks great. I like the looks. Everything feels very durable, like that's very strong and stout. This is, uh, they're still using the Eurolite in this camper. Eurolite is actually imported from uh, Europe or something like that. I've read on the internet there. Um, and it is 50% lighter than uh, most other woods that other campers are using. It's supposed to be bow resistant too, so if you get moisture inside the camper or something like that, it's supposed to be bow resistant. But yeah, all the countertop space here got a massive workstation here we've got a two burner cooktop over here it is gas i like gas um some people are wanting to go you know more uh i don't even know what the style is called like a convection style or um i forgot what it's called i could have told you if i wasn't trying to think of it but this one's gas i like that it's got a removable griddle for easy clean and then of course you got this little cover here when you're under tow to keep everything from rattling. We've got our JBL speaker holder here on the wall. Those uh, speakers are awesome. I got one with my last camper and I use it everywhere. I don't just use it with a camper. I take it to the house with me. Um, I, I, I use it just about everywhere I go. By the pool, it's awesome for more than just, you know, keeping with the camper. Got a couple of little pull-out doors over here that are soft close. Fire extinguisher, very handy. 110 outlets for your crock pots. And to, holy cow, you got another one over here too. They're not uh, they're not lacking on the 110 outlets, that's for sure. Let's see, you got a little bit of storage under here. I don't know what you'd want to keep in here since you got, you know, gas line and all this piping. Maybe some uh Paper plates, uh, solo cups, cloths, washcloths, stuff like that. Maybe some towels. I do need to clean this camper up, but like I said, I'm on very limited time and I wanted to get this video out to you uh, so you could check this thing out with me. Furnace. All right, so we've got our water pump or uh, yeah, water pump over here battery fresh black and gray water levels of course this one doesn't have a black tank on it so if you notice there's no bathroom in here and we'll get to that here in a second but what we're looking at here is 10 gallon fresh water tank and 20 gallon gray water tank i think i would have had it rather had it the other way maybe a larger fresh water tank than gray water but you know oh well also over here, what we have is a 110 and DC fridge. So it's AC and DC, no gas. Got our freezer up here. And this is a Norcold fridge. And like I said, it's AC and DC. Got a little latch up here that keeps it from popping out while you're towing it. All right. So what i was talking about just a minute ago was there's no bathroom in here but i just got called over the intercom so i got a uh, phone call let me finish this up real quick right here we have us a nice porta potty so say you got an emergency where you need to use the bathroom real quick put this on up here close this door pop this lid open remove the paper Remove all that stuff. Then you can just sit right here on the john. It's like a, a bike seat in a boat almost. Kind of leaning up on. Maybe you'd want to put it on the ground. I don't know your style of using the bathroom. Don't really, you know, need to know. You can keep that information. But, yeah. So it does have a little porta potty with it. Um, most people, like myself, I'm going outside. Um, or utilizing a campground space. So, oh yeah, I got a phone call. I'll be right back. All right, I was gone for about half an hour. I know it's only been a second for you, but uh, forgive me if I don't remember what I was just talking about. Uh, we went over the fridge. We went over the uh, pooper there. Uh, we went over the storage there. But look up here. So we've got the east-west bed. Um, 
I wonder why it's not called West East. Oh, okay. So the head's up here, East West. Gotcha. Okay. I always thought it should have been called West East, but you know, whatever. So we got the East West bed up here. It is a queen size mattress, 60 by 80 inches. You do have enough room to add a little memory foam topper to this if you choose to. I'll get up there and we'll judge and see how uh, comfy it is, of course. We've got us a uh, optional TV up here and the paper said uh, smart or 110, but this is actually a DC TV, thankfully. Um, I would actually prefer this DC TV over an AC powered TV so you don't have to be plugged in to watch it. And it can angle straight towards you where you're uh, laying down in the bed here. Now it doesn't have enough swing out to view from the dinette, it doesn't look like. Let's see. Oh yeah, yeah you can still watch it. Just a little portion of it's covered, but I think it's on a swing out mainly to be able to watch from the uh, bed here. So uh, let's hop up in here. And real quick before I do that, it's got the uh, Max Air Fan on it. It's got the built-in rain sensing, so if it's raining outside, it will lower itself down. And then you also have the option to add that, uh, let's see, what is it called? Max Air 2 vent cover. Now, I like how we have two kick-out windows up here as well. Maybe a front window would be cool to have on this one, just to create some more light up here, but you know. All right, let's see. All right, so I'm up here in the bed. Very comfortable, actually. Let's see, I'm a side sleeper. Oh yeah, I can make this work. All right, so you could prop yourself in the bed. If you had like one of them like little I call them huggy pillows. I don't really know what they're called, but the little wraparound pillow deal that you lean up on, you could lean up on it, but you're not gonna sit up straight in it. All right, so it is still a truck camper and there's not many truck campers out there where you can sit up straight in the bed. I just messed that all up, didn't I? These are always fun to make. <laughs> I'll fix that later. But uh, yeah, that was the inside of the uh, new 2024 Lance 805. I, I freaking love this camper, this is great. This is a great idea for all your half ton owners uh, that have been wanting to get in the truck camper game and haven't been able to. Like I said, Lance has had that 650. It's made for a five and a half foot bed, but it's a little on the heavier end. You're looking at about, you know, four to 500 pounds heavier than this one even. But uh, let's check out the outside now. A lot of cool features out here. Psych. I know I had to step away for a minute, but surely you didn't think I'd forget to make the dinette into a bed for you. Look at that. Look how spacious this thing is. I also brought my handy dandy tape measure like Bob the Builder here. Let's see what we're looking at. All right. Well, even, even bigger than that, okay. All right, so we're looking at a 36 inch width. And then, 70 on the length so 36 by 70 that's not quite six foot is it let's uh let's let's see brad o on it all right game time baby all right so me being six foot one i cannot lay perfectly perpendicular here sideways though I almost got it. Just uh, one foot's hanging off. So this right here would be for your kids, um, maybe a teenager or something, or an adult that you don't care about. Although it is comfortable. I'll give it that. It is comfortable. But uh, yeah, definitely not for a full grown uh, man like myself. I mean, I could make it work. I ain't too picky, really. But um, if you are picky, this might not be for you. You may want the best. But uh, yeah, that was 36 by 70 inches. And all I did was take that pole out and one of these cushions away and then use all these other cushions as filler and put that table right down there on them lips like I said so. So that's what we got. Now I've been looking all around here for a uh, key holder. I was gonna demonstrate how to hang the keys in here. And I guess to save weight, Lance had to do away with that. So. 
Yeah, no key holder in this thing. All right, so here on the front, we've got the uh, laminate fiberglass nose. Typically, Lance is going to do like a, a TPO nose cone on the front, like a car bumper, but this may be an area where they chose to save a little bit of weight. Uh, laminate fiberglass, just like the sides of the campers. We've got electric jacks around all four corners on this unit. Um, from what I can tell, we're probably, uh, we've probably got the only 805 that's going to be out anytime soon with electric jacks. I would not own a camper with manual jacks. I've done it one time and I'll never take another trade with manual jacks. Um, took me way too long, um, especially when you're spoiled and have done it many times in the past with the electrics. So electrics are nothing <laughs> for me. But uh, if an electric jack ever fails on you or if you have a dead battery or something, you know, it turns right into a manual jack again. You gotta pop the cap off, which I've already done. Put this switch down get to cranking or use the happy jack manually or uh, supplied adapter for your drill bit and you can drill it up and down would be much faster than you know manually cranking it but uh this is where we fill our uh, 10 gallon fresh water tank we have our propane here on the side this is a five gallon propane tank uh, a lot of you call them 20 pounders got us a nice gauge there on the side so we know exactly how much we've used how much we have left this is our zero shower i'll fold this down in a minute because i've never used one of these before don't even know what it looks like so i'll have to figure that out and it'd take me way too long to video that right now uh this is your uh hot water uh, i'm not hot water excuse me this right here is your furnace it also acts as a hand warmer during the cooler months when you have that furnace on inside you just stick your hands up here and put your shirt over it and boom getting heated up like you're sitting by a fire we've got a 30 amp shore power over here this is removable i just put it up for the video but i believe this is your water heater for the zero shower it plugs right into a propane tank uses gas to heat makes sense and then we got our little plug in here for the water hose underneath let's see there's one of our tanks that looks like a 10 gallon so that would be our fresh water makes sense because there's a pipe leading right close to that so that would be our fresh water tank and then our gray water tank is right up underneath here so as you can see this one's not four season certified obviously since the tanks are outside but we've got a uh, little gas hose over here not a hose but a little uh kick out for an external propane connection uh, this one has the seven-way wiring harness. Uh, no lance plug with this one. It just plugs straight into the back of your truck. Looks like that's where we empty our fresh water tank. And if you uh, already saw what I'm about to point out, then uh, kudos. You're looking ahead, but this has got the uh, city water connection. Black water flush. I don't see why I'd need that. I don't know. Maybe that's for the gray tank. I'll have to find that out. Right here, I think that this is super neat. Look at this. When you back your truck under it, you can slide your fishing rods or uh, you know anything else that you want to store inside the uh, between the bed of the truck and the uh, bed of the belly of the camper. Here, you've got uh, plenty of storage there. To just I know that's what I'd use it for is fishing rods. That's really cool. I like that. And you have it on that side as well. All right. Oh, they give you the dog leash holder too. Look at that. You could also use this to run a bike lock through for your e-bikes or maybe a kayak. You could utilize it for that as well. No rear awning on this one. I hate manual rear awnings, so I don't. I didn't add it on this one. I uh, believe that is an option if that's something that you would want, though. Maybe able to add it on after the fact too. Not really sure at the moment. Backup camera. I did want to add that for you because uh, I like for people to see who's behind them or if somebody is knocking on your door at nighttime, you use your monitor there inside the camper and you can see who exactly it is. We've got our four step aluminum entry steps. Same ordeal here where you can get to uh, the inner part of the truck uh, bed and between the belly of the camper. And then look at this, this is the fun side, baby. This is your campground side. 
we've got that nice automatic awning there on the side like i said we skipped on the rear one uh, mainly because that saves you some weight don't know exactly how much but enough right um, this is the one that i like right here this is my personal preference this has got auto wind sensing on it so it'll roll itself back in if it gets too windy and uh, also has a nice led light strip at the end of it as well lights things up at night what allows you to see what you're doing I think I forgot to point out that patio light there too. That's a two-way, amber and white light. Has a little two-way switch on it. Look how usable this window is. Look how usable this is. Holy cow. Love these windows. Uh, I've, I had them on my Enduro. Um, I wasn't blessed enough to have them on my 21 Lance 975 as they came out in 2022, literally two months after mine come in. Just super jealous. But uh, very usable, lets a lot more natural light and natural airflow in. Um, and then, like I said earlier, you do have these uh, bug screens and nightshades too. So keep the bugs out, at least as many as you can while camping. It's impossible to keep them all out. I don't know if you can see this. Let's see. On the roof there, we've got a 100 watt solar panel. This one, what's unique about this, what is that? Oh, Audi R8, baby. What's that, 200 grand? I wonder if he'd let me do a video on his car. Anyways, sorry, I, I like cars. We've got enough room in here for two dual batteries. You can do dual flooded, you could do dual AGM, sealed, or lithium. Uh, it is an option to do dual lithium batteries through the factory with this. It's an extra uh, about $2,600 on the retail side. Um, so that is an option for you to do. If you get one through us, we're going to do uh, one battery with this one because the 650, 825, and 865 all do great on one battery. But if you want us to add two, we'll definitely add two for you. It'll be about 100, 160, 180 bucks extra. I think that's what those DECAs cost. And DECAs also who makes the uh, Duracell deep cycle batteries. All right, so that was a, uh, a little overview of the outside. Let me try to figure out this shower real quick. This thing is too cool. Look at this. Of course, the wind didn't start blowing until I freaking unloaded this thing, but uh, this is really neat. It didn't take me long at all. These arms come out. It's got this nice uh, material here. Look at the inside. Of course, you got these little things down here that you use like a tent. You throw spikes through it and it stays put. But this is neat. Like. There ain't no C in my titties. You know what I mean? This thing blocks everything. Got you a nice little holder here for your products. Got this little plug in here to light. I think this is a light right here. So if you're showering at nighttime, you can get you a little light. And then you got this uh, water heater over here for your shower. It comes with all the other little accessories, you know, in, in a box over there. I just didn't get them all out, but this this is this is awesome. I like this. I mean, you know, for not having anything inside the camper like this, I mean, you got a porta potty and you got you a uh, little shower here on the outside. So this is this is exactly what you need. It's got everything you need. Shower, uh, place to use the bathroom, place to sleep, TV, place to cook. It's got everything, man. All right, that completes our tour of the 2024 Lance 805, the new lightest truck camper in the game here for Lance. Like I said, this one comes in weighing at 1,647 pounds dry. So uh, that, that's going to be a really good fit for my truck here. Wink, wink. Y'all tell Lance to send me a demo. Um, I'll run this thing. I love it. It's a, it's a great design. It's got everything you need in it. Plus, it's compatible with everyday trucks like, my, like I got here. Five and a half foot bed, uh, 150 four-wheel drive 3.5 twin turbo eco boost that thing would look great in it i think what do y'all think black white white graphics oh yeah that tie in great anyways i'm just rambling on at this point but like i said that's 2024 lance 805 the first one i've ever seen and i've already showed it once today it's getting great feedback already um of course i only showed it once but they they liked it <laughs> so i uh, got another guy coming monday on it and then uh, if you'd like to view it Call me up, 423-892-6272. Get in here, check this thing out. It's compatible with 150 through 350 series 
uh, short bed, five and a half foot to long bed, eight foot beds, a uh, single rear wheel. Doesn't look like a dually is going to fit back there. So I'd say duallys are out on this one. I'm not sure if I hear anything different. I'll definitely uh, update the uh, little video here. But uh, from what it looks like, looks like single rear wheels only, but five and a half to eight foot bed. So that fits a lot of uh, trucks ranges there. If you're on the fence and want to stay lighter, this is the camper for you, man so uh yeah my name's brad i'm over here at fishing fun 423-892-6272 if you like the video go ahead and give me a thumbs up let's youtube know that i might know what i'm talking about might be enjoyable to watch and then also if you haven't subscribed already go ahead and do so join this fishing fun family we are over 28,500 subscribers as of today and uh i would like to keep it going so hop on board here if you are uh interested in any videos coming out from me for some reason again uh you can hit the notification bell up in the top corner that'll let you know uh, when i post and keep you up to date with the latest and greatest videos uh until next time y'all take care stay safe and i'll see you on the next one